Hey, it's Pastor James. Great to see you back with us again on this video devotional series we're doing. Hope that you are taking time to comment and to engage in the conversation. We'd love to hear your ideas, your questions, your thoughts, as we are taking a word a day and are seeking to cultivate the wonder of the Christmas season. Today, our word is shine. Let me read you a scripture passage about lights and shining. It's from 2 Corinthians 4, 6. Paul writes, It is the God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Light was a powerful image for them because they lived in darkness. They were a pre-industrial society. They didn't have the lights and the aura of lights and the pollution of lights that we have today. In fact, a little light could go a long way. This is a Roman uh, lamp, and they would put a little wick at the front of this lamp, and they would fill it with oil. And this is the kind of light that a typical person would have in their home to illuminate their house. It's not a lot of light, but when everything is dark, light makes a difference. You know, I love the houses are decorated with lights. I love that we have candles that are lit in worship services that bring light. And I love all the different ways we incorporate light into this Christmas season because it reminds us, doesn't it, of Jesus who came as a light of the world to bring us hope and to rescue us from darkness. One of the things that we have the capability to do, Paul says, is to be that light to the world because Jesus has taken up residence in us at the time that we came to faith in him and were adopted into his family. He took up residence in us. And if Jesus is the light of the world, then his light shines through us. And you know, sometimes uh, we may think, well, I'm I'm not a great vessel. I'm pretty cracked and broken, but the fact is that that's where the light shines the best is through the cracks in the vessels. So I wonder if you could think about how you could be a light to someone else today. Keep your eye open and see somebody who looks like they're walking in darkness, that they're in a dark place. And to consider one possibility of a act of kindness a word of grace, an expression of love that might illuminate their day in such a way that you turn their hearts from darkness to light, their lives from darkness to light. It may make all the difference in their ability to cultivate the wonder of Christmas. Has somebody done that for you? I'd love to hear the story, how they did that and what difference it made. So comment below with your stories and with your ideas. And let's uh, work together to find ways that we can bring the light of the glory of God to a world, to those who are lost in darkness. Have a great day.